I don't know if I can come up with a word to do that, but I, I know when I spoke to Courtney um, early on, she mentioned that a translation of possibly a German word that uh, is used for fairy tales can translate literally as, as I think it's wonder tale or something like that, something along those lines. And just the, the idea of wonder, I think maybe is something that uh, all of the designers and Courtney, the director, tried to uh, tried to capture in, in, in the entire production. This play is set in, in three worlds, and primarily in two worlds, I guess. Um, the land of the fairies and the human kingdom. And we also do spend a scene in the land of the dead. What I knew is that we needed different music and different sort of, uh, different feelings, different uh, instrumentation for sure for the human kingdom and the land of the fairies. And the land of the fairies, of course, you hear lots of sparkly bells and chimes and things like that going on. The human kingdom, uh, to me, especially since uh, we're dealing with a lot of royalty in the, in, in the human world, um, had a little more, uh, it might be extreme to say pomp and circumstance to it, but maybe fell a little more in, in that world. The Land of the Dead, I, I really enjoy making soundscapes like that, so uh, in my mind initially, and I think what was sort of realized, there's this sort of murky, low, ominous sort of tone that's that's coming in and out a little bit, you know, kind of there and, you know, yeah, just sort of sort of teasing us a little bit that way. What I was really excited about with this one was having uh, only the duties of, of sound designer and composer, so I was able to spend as much time as I wanted in, in rehearsals and was really able to respond to what was going on in the rehearsal hall.